can't really come out at high tide because there's not much beach left and the horseshoe crabs are still spawning. So we try to come out after the tide has gone out and the, the crabs that are going to be stranded are stranded. Um, you know, there can be in some days hundreds of crabs in this rubble and you'll find a spot sometimes I think it's when the female gets stuck in first then she'll I think some of the males get attracted and there are as many as 20 crabs in one little small section in the rocks This year, the, um, the new moon high tide, which is typically very, very high, coincided with a lot of rain and some wind that kept more water coming into the bay. And so right at the same time that the tides were, or the crabs were at their peak, we had water pushing the crabs in places where they don't usually get. So there was overwash areas where the crabs were stuck up in high marsh or in people's yards, neighborhoods. Um, and in, in places where they weren't going to be able to get out because the water wasn't going to come up again to that same height. I mean, I think they're the, the, the crabs are going to be overwashed in areas that they don't get to, um, that they wouldn't have gotten to in previous years, decades ago, because of the sea level rise. I'd love to see an effort to try to you know, do something to make some of our man-made impingement areas not be impingement areas anymore.